Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and I am back with a requested video. This is an updated skincare routine showing what I do for skincare morning and night. So my skincare routine is pretty minimalist. I find that when I'm eating so much animal fat like I do all the time, that my skin doesn't need a whole lot of extra care. But there are a few things that I like to do just to really take care of it. And so I'm gonna show you what I do. The first thing is that I like to exfoliate my face a couple times a week. And then sometimes I'll exfoliate on other areas of my body too, but not very often. For my face, I have my whipped tallow sugar scrub that I make. It's basically tallow balm with organic sugar added and sometimes I'll add essential oils. And this is a really gentle exfoliator that I love to use on my face a couple times a week. I will usually use it when I'm taking a shower. It's easier and less messy just to do it in the shower. And then every now and then when I feel like it, usually like if I wanna start getting my skin ready for like spring or summer or something like that, or just whenever I feel like it, then I'll do a salt scrub, maybe like on my feet or something, or knees. And that works really great as an all over body exfoliator. I find that for my face especially, the whipped tallow sugar scrub is fantastic for giving me just the right of moisturizer. I most of the time don't really need to add just tallow balm to my face for a moisturizer at the time of life that I'm in. I early 30s, I guess I'm getting closer to my mid 30s, I just turned 34, but I find that my skin is on the oilier side on its own, so I just go with that and I don't really need to add anything more usually for moisturizing except that that tallow balm in the whipped sugar scrub really just adds just the perfect amount of light moisturizer a couple times a week and I find that that is perfect for me right now. I know that'll probably change as time goes on and my skin probably will get drier. Another thing that I will do every once in a long while that I really should make more time for more often just because it is a really good self-care thing to incorporate a lot is doing a face mask. So I have a couple different face masks that I love. I have actually a few of them. There's a honey face mask that I'll do sometimes. There is a rose clay mask which is gorgeous and then a green French clay mask that is really great if you're wanting to get rid of like blackheads or whatever. So I'll do those once in a while. And down in the description box, I have a link to a free ebook that is Natural Beauty Recipes. It's a whole bunch of DIY recipes. It includes some of those face masks and other things. So if you're interested in learning how to make those, be sure and check out that description box and grab a copy of that ebook for yourself. Same goes for the rest of my body. Sometimes maybe my hands will get dry once in a while in the winter or if I'm washing them more than usual for some reason or something like that and I'll always go to tallow balm for that or like right now as I have a growing belly again I will use tallow balm on that pretty regularly just to help keep it comfortable and hopefully minimize more stretch marks coming and then of course after the baby comes it really helps to fade those stretch marks to keep putting the tallow balm on afterwards so I will do that but otherwise pretty minimalist and pretty simple. On the evenings, I will do my honey face wash. And usually, rather than mixing in the other ingredients lately, I've just been keeping it really, really simple. I just have this jug of honey that I keep in my bathroom. I get my hands wet. I put a little bit of honey on my hands, work it all into my face to cleanse gently, and then rinse it off, and I'm good to go. So I'll pretty much always do honey in the evening, and then in the morning, I will either do just water, or if I'm taking a shower in the morning, then I'll do my exfoliating with the whipped tallow sugar scrub, and it kind of works like the oil cleansing method, as well as exfoliating and gently moisturizing. And I have other videos on my channel that show you how to make your own tallow balm, and the sugar scrub, and the salt scrub, the honey face wash, and then also I have a video all about doing the oil cleansing method. I will link those videos down below so you can check them out if you're interested. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed coming along to see my updated and current skincare routine. I hope that you found it interesting. 
And be sure and check out that description box for links to all the recipes if you're interested in making any of these things. I also have some pre-made items too. There'll be a link to my shop where you can check those out. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.